Hi, I'm Craig Head with the Nebraska Farm Bureau, and with me today is Nebraska Farm Bureau President Steve Nelson. Steve, you look good. You just literally got back from a trip to Japan, a trade mission with the governor. Uh, trade so important to us here in Nebraska, and I know sometimes people wonder about why Farm Bureau engages on those trade missions, but they're really important, and, and you've got a great story about just a real close connection here in Nebraska and why we do this. Sure, well, that's right, Craig, and uh, it was a very good uh, trade mission, trade event in Japan. It, it always, I am always impressed by how, how much uh, interest there is in Nebraska products, whether it's agricultural products or other business relationships that we might have in the state of Nebraska. And so one of the stories I have to tell relates to a restaurant where they serve buckwheat noodles and breaded pork cutlet. The breaded pork cutlet is very, very special in, in Japan and you see that at lots and lots of restaurants. Uh, Mr. Kamada has uh, over a hundred restaurants in Japan. He has made a deal with Smithfield Foods of Crete, Nebraska to purchase the pork cutlet that he uses from Nebraska. And so we, there was a signing ceremony related to that but but he is already using Nebraska pork and uh, we had Nebraska pork there it was outstanding and just had a great evening with Mr. Kamada at one of his restaurants and and again I think it's really important to understand how how much uh, those customers appreciate that personal contact with Nebraskans knowing who's producing their product and, and understanding who they're dealing with. That's how they build trust and they really, really do appreciate uh, our visits there. So Steve, let's talk a little bit about what you've heard from folks there on the trip about what how they view the U.S. and these trade relationships that we have and their desire to work with us. Sure. Well, certainly a very strong desire to work with us, both from an agricultural perspective and a business perspective. But one of the things I was surprised to learn was that that uh, in Japan, uh, there's a belief that the U.S. will will put themselves back into TPP. The president, of course, has announced that, that the U.S. will not participate in TPP. But as we visited with the State Minister of Agriculture and other uh, important government officials in Japan, it's very clear that they believe that, that there's opportunity yet for the U.S. to come back into TPP. And while we talked about that we believe TPP was a good deal for agriculture, we know it was a good deal for agriculture, the president has made it pretty clear that that's not where he wants to go and that he would prefer to pursue bilateral trade agreements. And so, so we tried to carry that message. As uh, moving forward uh, in October, uh, the negotiator from Japan will be coming to the U.S. and so the talks will continue about uh, hopefully a way to put together uh, and continue to build trade relationships with Japan. Okay. Any other thoughts, Steve, from the trip that, uh, that, that jumped to mind? Well, again, I, I just, part of what I always come home with is the idea that I, I wish that everyone could do this because you do really see the strong demand that there is for Nebraska products, particularly agricultural products, and the desire that Japanese business people have to do business with us. So I always come back with a really good feeling, good impression that, that there are a lot, there's a lot of opportunity in Japan and many other places in the world to continue to, to uh, uh, export Nebraska products. Stay tuned to more at nefb.org.